Hey everyone, it's Lori and I'm here to do your sneak peek at your week. I started this and got interrupted and it stopped the video. So while I was on the phone talking to the sprinkler person who interrupted me, I ended up putting all the cards away and losing the vibe. So I'm going to restart your message here. Beautiful message to come out and start. Let's go ahead and clear out any negative energies here by ringing the large chimes. It's going to be loud. Three, two, one. Let's invite in some light energy. And let's roll the zodiac die to see what signs you might be dealing with, Libras. You have rolled Capricorn, Leo, Taurus, Pisces, Aries, and Gemini. All right, in the pre-shuffle, you saw that the Empress card fell out. This is the before tarot. So this is the one where she is fertile. She is having children um, or she is nurturing children that belong to others, okay? So this could be nurturing um, and being supportive of those around you. She is receiving some sort of blessing and protection here. She is not holding her wand up in um, acknowledgement of being able to receive everything. So maybe you are still at a point where you're not completely open to receiving your blessings. Now, I'm noticing this behind the little girl's head here. Oh, it's just a different type of tree. Okay. Couldn't quite make that out. So, what I'm getting from this is that you may be in a position of um, just, of not, <clears throat> of not quite taking care of yourself and receiving the benefits that you deserve because you're so focused on taking care of others. That's what I'm hearing here is we're going to keep that up here too. All right, let's go ahead and see what Sunday has for you. And Spirit is telling me to put that card in the deck because it most likely is going to show itself again. Let's see what's going on here. What you need to know. Sneak peek at your week in case I forgot to tell you. Let's see what we've got going on here. The Nine of Cups before the dream comes true. It's coming. You're filling those cups. You're doing the work. You're putting the effort in. You're sharing in the bounty with others. There's anticipation building here but there's still something that needs to be done before you actually receive the blessings that you are hoping for. And I'm, I'm, I'm noticing on the hem of the tunic here that there's some sort of soiling, some sort of like this person had to go through some trials, maybe some murky waters, maybe some muddy banks, um, something that was not easy. It was not easy to get where you are at here. But you are almost to the Nine of Cups. You're at the Seven here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, that's seven, Seventh Cup. So maybe there's some confusion. Maybe there's still some opportunities for you to take advantage of. Interesting. Okay, so Sunday is saying that you're on your way to the Nine of Cups. You're actively working at it. You're, you're taking advantage of the opportunities coming your way. Look at that. Absolutely, this is beautiful. You've got the Ace of Cups here for follow-up on Sunday. I'm going to take two cards for each day. So this tells me that you are filling your cups you're doing everything that you can. You're looking at things from new perspectives. You're getting inspiration from the divine. You're accepting that inspiration. You're thinking outside of the box. You're thinking creatively. I'm hearing being steadfast. Like you're, you're committed to doing what you want to do. 
what you're, you know, you're focused on, you're bringing in your intentions, manifesting your dreams, your desires. There is a lot of healing going on. So I'm hearing, you know what I'm hearing with this? Shadow work. You're doing a lot of deep soul diving. Absolutely beautiful message there. Okay, let's go ahead and see what Monday's got going on. So there's a lot of introspection on Sunday. Monday. What have you got going on, my lovely Libras? I wish that other reading had not got interrupted. It was so good. This card came out in that one, too. The Page of Swords. And this, again, is the Before Tarot. This is almost like you're challenging the gods again. Like, challenging the heavens. Bring it on. I'm ready for this. Let's do this. But, you know, I'm ready to fight for what I want. Send me a message. And what you don't see is the message is about to arrive. You just don't see it behind you. And it's coming. This is the falcon or the bird that's in the nine of pentacles. Okay, the, the bird that sits on the woman's arm. And she looks at it most of the time. Um so something about independence, being able to stand on your own two feet is coming in a message from somebody who may be around you, who's independent, capable, confident, um, trusting, checking you out, looking at what you're doing. You're about to receive a message, though. You are about to receive some sort of divine inspiration because you have the divine's cloud building here. Do you see this? The divine's cloud. There's always a, a cloud with whatever is being offered from the divine because it, co it comes from the heavens, okay? It comes from the powers above, something bigger than us. So all aces have that energy. All right, let's see what else we've got going on with this Page of Swords for Monday. So you will hear something on Monday. You're asking for a sign and you're about to receive it. Will you abs actually um, recognize and put into use what Spirit is offering to you, though? Because in the other reading that I was doing, that was a question. Three of Cups. This is, is it going to be worth the squeeze? And Chris Reck, check that out. Because <laughs> he always says, is it worth the squeeze to put the effort in? Okay, is it worth the effort? Will the outcome be worth it? Um, I'm seeing a lot of ego in this card. I'm seeing almost like, here I have this abundance but you know what? We're all just hanging out. And this is what came through in the other one, but with a totally different card. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I think some of you say, yeah, I see it. It'll come to me. I don't have to do anything. I can just celebrate now because I set my intentions. But you're not listening or paying attention to the actual sign, the, the actual information. You have to take action on the inspiration. You can't just celebrate it. You haven't, uh, you haven't put anything into effect yet. You haven't done anything yet. Don't get ahead of yourself here is what I'm hearing. Yeah, see, things have died, but they haven't come back to life yet. You haven't done anything. The clarion call has not been made. So you have to take the inspiration here that's being given. All right, let's go ahead and see what Tuesday's got going on for you. So, and this can be any situation in your life. This could be a personal endeavor. This could be work. This could be um, with friends, family, trying to uh, build something here. I'm hearing that you're just not, you're not picking up on, you're, you're noticing the synchronicities. You know that spirit is saying to you, all right, maybe this is what would be a good idea. This would help you um, lead you down the path to this. But you're choosing to celebrate before you actually put the work in. This is a different reading. 
This is so unusual um, for what you guys normally get. And I've noticed that with a lot of the other readers that I like to watch on YouTube, the ones that I, you know, refer to get my information about my life with, um, they, the ones that were so spot on, it's changing. Like, it's not that they're not right. The message just isn't for me anymore. So I'm thinking, and I'm, I've been feeling it over the last couple of weeks, that some of you who may not have been resonating in the past, you probably will more so now. Um, and those that have been resonating, you might or might not continue to resonate with all the messages. That's why there's three messages a day, because they can be very different, okay? All right, let's see what we have here for Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. A decision that needs to be made, looking out at the world, dreaming, thinking about what it is. Somebody, again, is watching you, waiting to see what you're going to do. I feel like they want to support you. I feel like they, they want to give you something, but they're not going to do that until they see the effort from you. And that, this could just be spirit watching you. You know, this could be your God, whoever, just watching you to see what you're going to do here. Are you going to take the world by um, in your hands and move forward? Or are you just going to sit back and enjoy the comforts of life? There's that nine of pentacles. So the message was sent out. This is what I was talking about. Look, see? See the ties on the hawks, um, on the falcon's legs there? Okay, so the message that you've sent out is being returned to whoever's watching you here. What, am, what are we hearing? Are we seeing any um, reason to give to you? Are we seeing... Let's get another card here. Looks good. This again is the pre-tarot or the before tarot. So before everything comes out into the open, there's still something that's not out in the open. It's not clear. The sunflowers have just started to grow. They're not following the sun. Ooh. This child is actually being resurrected, lifted up into the sun and back into birth, back into the beginning. I'm hearing something about dreams. There's no air. There's no movement here. There's nothing. The universe is looking right at you. So is your freedom looking you right in the eye, hoping that you will receive this message. To come back into the sun. There's something about trust. A lack of trust. Not willing to move. Mm. Can I get... Oh, that was supposed to go with this. Ooh. Uh-oh. My cards look crooked. Let's see what more we can get here. I, I'm... Yeah, I'm getting a, a sense that Spirit's really trying to reach out to somebody here, and you're just not. Either you think the message isn't for you, or you're just wanting in a comfort zone, and you're not going to change. Like, I'm too old. I'm not changing. Even though you have desires and dreams, and you, you keep claiming that you want fresh starts. I, I'm getting a sense of somebody here that's saying, nah, it's too much work. I don't want to do it that way. I want to do it my way. Um, there are universal laws and then there are laws for humankind. Okay, the ones for humankind, those are flexible. They can be broken because this is just humanity standards, you know, like we don't want to kill. Well, that's a good thing, okay, but Getting married and having four kids, not necessarily important to everybody, okay? So, 
The universal laws are the universal laws. What you focus on expands. If you don't put the effort in, then you get nothing back. Okay? So is the effort worth the squeeze? And I'm hearing some of you are just looking at things and saying, well, the whole world's out there for me. I deserve to have the world. Bring it to me. And Spirit's looking at you and saying, hmm, I don't understand. I can give them another dose of uh, dreams, inspiration, insight. But, you know, you have to get on the horse. You have to be the one to direct the horse which way to go. You have to be the one that moves that banner. Nobody can move you. What do they say? You can lead a horse to water, but you can't force, force it to drink. Okay, and if you are being led to your dreams, your desires, and you're refusing to partake in what needs to be done, drinking from your cup, oof. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. This is going to get a big old, I don't even know what to call this message. I started to say I was going to get a big old warning stick around there because this is not for everyone and i don't want people who are on a good high vibration to think that this is for them this is for somebody who's in a very low energy you're very negative um you don't see the good in the world you feel like i've waited forever for everything i've got very very negative energy here and that's who this reading is for and spirit is trying through this message to reach you Spirit's been trying to reach you through so many different ways, through your dreams, through people talking to you, through family, through your activities. All right, so Wednesday, I'm, I don't even know if we should call this a sneak peek at your week, but maybe you'll wake up in a week. Um, yeah, you are definitely... Uh, okay, you've got the strength card here. And this is the lion who's so strong and so courageous and so brave and so fierce coming to this damsel, this maiden, or may, maybe this is the empress. Who knows, okay? Um, but she's successful because she's got this wreath. She's also got the um, laurel, laurel, oh, laurel wreath on her head, which talks about knowledge. Um, could be the high priestess here, too with that infinity there. So this just represents the strong divine feminine, okay? But this big courageous um, ent energy, okay, the lion is hurt and needs help. And he's, it's going to trust this human to help it, okay? Are you going to heed the call? Are you going to be brave enough to help this lion? Or are you going to be afraid that the lion will bite your head off? It does take strength and it does take courage and it does take bravery to follow your dreams. And I will show you what's on the bottom of the deck. You've got the world card and there are two people here and this is about unity, wholeness. This is not about... That's, it's about the divine masculine and the divine feminine coming together. All right, let's go ahead and see what else we can find out about Wednesday. I don't know why I'm calling it by the days because this, this message, and I, it's funny because your other message, I wrote very, very important message um, for your early one, your quick reading. And it's similar, but that one was awesome. That, that one was awesome. This one really is for the other people, the ones that are not doing what needs to be done, not taking responsibility for your own actions, your own responsibilities. All right, so we have here, look at this. We've got the three and the three here. We've got nine and nine here. Okay, so this is the three of pentacles here. This is the planning stages. This is 
um, spirit giving you a roadmap of let's here this is how we work things out this is what you need to do giving you the inspiration here again I'm hearing are you going to be brave enough to take action on it do you have the courage to act on your dreams do you have the desire even to go after what you want or are you just willing to sit back and and complain about the world and everything around you and just keep living that way you know drinking doing drugs partying saying you know life life doesn't get any better you know or my life sucks but if you're still hanging out with the wrong type of people people who are on a low vibration people who are stealing doing drugs drinking every day you know whatever that type of energy is never going to get you anywhere in life and I mean, that's just the very basis, basest, B-A-S-E-S-T, of the type of energy that you can be in and still want something better for yourself, yet not pursue it. A lot of you are probably just going through life day to day, nothing wrong, nothing illegal, you know, maybe not drinking every day either. I, I'm getting a lot of beer drinking here. A lot of beer drinking. Like coming home and I'm going to have my my drink so that I can relax because I've had a rough day. And this is male or female. does not matter. I'm getting a lot of that here in this reading. Is there a desire to really heal? You're looking at yourself and you're saying, do I really want this? Am I going to take that cup down from there? My divine feminine, my divine masculine portion of myself, my duality, am I going to come together with myself here? Do I want health? Do I want healing? Okay, that is that is divine healing right there. And you've not accepted it yet. You have not decided that that's what you really want yet. Well, maybe you do down here because you're at the Seven of Cups. You, you finally may realize that you have to finish up what you've been dealing with and move on. Let's see. Let's see. And this is a judgment-free zone. I don't care what you do with your life. I hope you decide to, if this is you, that you live a wonderful life and you think positive, but it's not my decision what you do with your life. And I, I am not judging, okay? We all have different life experiences. We all do. And I can tell you, I've been in the position I've been talking about here. And I know for a fact that it comes from within if you want to change or not. And until you realize that it's your decision, you, you may never come to that understanding. All right. The Empress came out again. I told you she was going to come out. She came out in the reverse this time, though. I don't like that. Yeah, look at this. The Five of Swords. This message, as sad as this is, this is very, very important. Okay, somebody has to hear the harsh reality of your choices. Okay, spirit has tried to reach you in so many ways, I'm hearing. And you've, you've condemned spirit. You've blamed God. You've blamed the universe. You've blamed your family. You've blamed your friends. You've blamed everybody for things not working out, for why you are in the shape you're in. And unfortunately, a lot of us have learned in the hard way that the only one to blame is ourselves. And until we accept responsibility and start putting to good use the information that we're getting, the inspiration, those ideas, hey, you know, maybe if you go put an application in here today, or hey, you know what, maybe if you started to create this product, you could actually be an inventor. Or hey, whatever comes to you when you're not in a drunken stupor or fighting the, and angry at the world and everyone around you when you're calm and peaceful for five minutes, that's when the inspiration comes to you. And I'm also hearing from spirit that the chances of spirit being able to get to you are growing slimmer and slimmer because you are falling into a darker and darker place. And you're going to close yourself off to any possibility of hearing spirit's call and spirit's inspiration and spirit's tenderness and love. 
you you have you're the only one who can get yourself in alignment with that so it's all about your thought process your desires what you are going to do spirit thank you look at this you're not up fighting your demons here you're letting all the past pains just bleed all over you while you lay there you just lay there you just take it oh it's everybody else's fault all these things that were said to me all these swords that were put into my back all these things but you know what yeah people have done some nasty things to you that's obvious that's that's the truth and I would never try to take that from you. Nobody can take that from you. That's your reality. But you get to choose whether you're going to rise above it or if you are going to just continue to lie there. Dang, I was hoping this reading was going to get like lighter and that you were going to get the message and that we could say, yay! Let's see what's going to come out here. And if you know somebody, if this like is not necessarily a message for you, but you've got somebody who's going through something, they're drug addicted, alcohol addicted, blaming the whole world, you may want to share this with them, but caution if you do. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. Thank you, Spirit. There is hope for you. There is absolutely hope for you. All right. Oh my gosh, you've got the Four of Wands here and Temperance came out with it at the same time. And this is, look, you've got the Guardian Angel here. Um, oh, with the Two of Cups that was on the bottom of the deck that didn't stay. Here's Raphael. Okay, that's Raphael, the Healing Angel. The one that brings the peace, that makes the magic, that creates the chemistry. Okay, that helps that spark to grow here to help you to fill your cup look here's the two of cups right here all right so you're learning you're coming to a point where yes i i do understand i have to heal myself i have to start by filling my own cup okay taking care of yourself eating right stopping the bad habits stop blaming everyone else out there for what's going wrong because nobody else can force you into any situation they can kidnap you okay somebody could kidnap you and throw you in a basement but how you sit and survive that situation is completely up to you you can sit there and whine and cry or you can look for a way out okay and i will tell you there is always a way out. Spirit will always provide you with an answer to the solution or a solution to the problem. But it comes from how you look at the situation. Take care of yourself first so that you can start planning your future. You do have a bright future ahead of you. Okay? You really do. You every opportunity is here for you. There's stability, there's community, there's a beautiful place to live. You have to remain, you have to get yourself first and foremost out of the way you're thinking, what you're doing. Change something here. Look what's on the bottom of the deck. The Fool card. You're almost there. You're so close to saying, yes, I'm going to do this. Please do this. Please. I'm, I'm praying so hard. For whoever has stayed through this message for as long as they have. Because you do have a strong desire to change. You do have, I mean, divine guidance is all over you, all around you. The protection. You, you don't even know how protected you've been. Spirit has saved your life multiple times. I mean, you are so close, okay? You are so close to letting it go, letting the past go. Don't carry these burdens with you anymore. Take a leap of faith that you have everything that you need within you to do what needs to be done because you do. You can go from being trapped, okay? You're so close, so close to getting yourself out of this situation. Please don't give up. Look at that. You can stand up. 
you're about to make that last sacrifice here. Look, there's a lamb on that emperor's shoulders. You are about to make the last sacrifice and stand up and say, Spirit, please, I'm here. I'm asking for your help. I'm not yelling at you anymore. I'm not blaming you for anything anymore. I'm ready to take that leap of faith. I'm ready to take responsibility for myself, my people, my life, my everything. Okay? That's the emperor. And look at where you're headed. You're, go you're going to go through some storms. It's not going to be easy, but you are headed for that ten of cups. Oh, my goodness. Surrendering. Breaking the bad habits. Surrendering to your higher power. Look at that. Ten of cups and ten of pentacles. Cannot. That does not happen in a lot of readings in Libras. I'm going to tell you, out of all the signs I've been doing, you guys are the only ones who have ever had the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles come out at the same time. Oh, yeah, maybe the Ten of Cups here and the Ten of Pentacles here. But as your outcome with the Emperor and the Fool, no, and the Empress over here, I didn't even talk about her because this energy right here is saying you're, you're not ready. You're giving too much to other people around you. You're not taking care of yourself here. Here, you're finally standing up. Here, you're finally saying, you know what? I do think I want to put my burdens down. I don't want to carry all this. I want to heal. I want to achieve success. I want to be happy. I am, if you got through this whole message, I am so proud of you. Do not give up on yourself. You have a beautiful future ahead of you. Okay? Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles. Everything is out there for you. You have the whole world in your hands right now. Make something of it. Do something with it. God is speaking right now. That was thunder. Okay, that was thunder. Come out into the sun. Please start hearing the messages, understanding it, saying, yes, I do get it. I do understand that I have to surrender control. I can't force things. And you will succeed. You're going to be blessed. You're already blessed. You do not even know how many times Spirit has protected you. I think you may have a clue of a couple of times. I'm sure you've actually said, dang, I don't know how I survived that. But you've got a lot more protection than, than you think. Spirit wants to give you a soul coaching message, and then we're going to close this out. 32.32 on the clock, which tells me... You're willing to accept the changes. You're willing to make the changes. And I'm so proud of you. I'm so happy for you. <sighs> Life is going to start getting easier. Okay? You're going to find a support group somewhere. There's a sense of community here. You're not fighting anymore. Okay? You're not fighting spirit's help. You're crushing your demons here. You're putting the, those bad habits behind you. But you do have a community. You have divine guidance. You, If you don't see the community yet, you will find community. People who want to see you succeed. And I do already feel like you have people around you that do. Most of you. Some of you don't have family. Some of you don't have protection. Some of you don't feel like people support you. You got to take care of yourself and responsibility for yourself and then you watch all, all these people come out of the woodwork and you'll be like, where were you before? Why would they want to help somebody who doesn't want to help, help themselves? And that's what I was getting here. Remember, somebody's watching you. Somebody's looking at you, seeing what you're going to choose to do. They'll support you. They'll help you. And I'm not talking about just giving you money. No, they're going to be there emotionally to help you figure out what, you know, as you're going through things and times are tough, you're going to have a shoulder to cry on. They're not going to tell you what to do because it's your life, okay? They may give you some guidance, but you need to be listening and connecting with your higher power because that's where you're going to find your answers, within yourself. Nobody else can answer all those difficult questions for yourself. Put a little playfulness into your life as you go through this difficult uh, transition, okay? Your joy is the greatest gift that you can give to others. I'm hearing a lot of you actually are very wonderful, awesome, fun people to be around. But you're 
your joy is being um, dampened and wasted in the wrong places. Your, your joyfulness does not benefit those that you're currently around. And pleasure. Your life is deliciously joyous. You're headed in the right direction here. Let me give you some words of encouragement from these cards. Spirit, I'll read them to you, but Spirit's giving you these words of encouragement. The card meeting. Allow your inner child to heal and be here and play today. So please, just get out and enjoy yourself and have some fun. Lighten up, see the world in a more positive way. Um, yeah. Yeah. The, your soul wants you to know that playfulness is absolutely necessary for your health and your well-being. I'm hearing just lightening up. Like if you're not out doing anything like bad habits or anything, your bad habit is not, it's taking yourself and life too seriously. All right. It's important. Having fun and being playful is as important as the food you eat. And of course, the thoughts you think are even more important than having playfulness. If you don't have some of this in there, okay, then life is not right. All right, so go have some fun. Be playful, all right, because there is, um, you're taking yourself too seriously, I'm hearing. All right, and these two cards, third page, one page after the other in the book. Pleasure. Enjoy yourself, dance through your life, and give toast for no other reason at all than you enjoy life again. Cherish your sens sensuality and your sexuality, which means be yourself, okay? Don't let your um, d desires and stuff hold you back. All right. In today's society, we are programmed to believe that pleasure is forbidden, only permitted in small amounts or should always come after difficult work. Do you postpone good times in your life because you're too busy fulfilling work commitments? Or maybe do you deny yourself joyful experiences because there's not enough time? Or that's just stupid. No, there's no time or reason I'm going to do that. Uh-uh, that's stupid. All right, stop. Your spirit needs pleasure. It's the soul's way of replenishing and revitalizing your life force. And I'm feeling that you've been, you know, you've got dreams, you've got desires, you're so close to realizing them, and then you allow something to set you back, all right? You're not taking time for the fun. You're letting the burdens of the world weigh you down. So please take time to make sure that you are pampering yourself. Knight of Cups energy, okay? And you will have all the energy that you need to create everything that you desire. You can change the outcome of your future here. All right, my lovely, lovely Libras, Crosswatchers, Channel fans, thank you for bearing through this difficult situation. If this is you, I'm wishing you the very best. I'm proud of you. Don't give up on yourself. I love you to pieces. Bye-bye.